We back. But before we get into this overly informative and completely experimental buckaroo, I want to thank you, subscribers of Northern Scripture, for making the start of my journey worthy of your time. I recognize and respect that it's because of you that I am here at 100 subscribers, just over. And uh, I really appreciate that. All of your help is always needed to get out there. So thank you, which brings me to the lure giveaway. I think I'm going to call it. The views have exceeded my subscribers somehow. So I believe that everybody's gotten in their comments if they want in on that. Just drop that comment on that video and you'll in on that. So without further ado, we'll continue on to this lure. Oh yeah, and uh, I'll probably put out the video maybe Sunday with the winner. So stay tuned to that. Alright. So we're going to get this on and popping. Trying something completely different on both ends of the spectrum. Uh, with the tail, we're going to turn some feathers out as you saw in the first clip. And really get a good vibration octopus dangly look there as they uh, pull through the water. Now have done experimenting with it in the past with different size feathers and uh, exactly what kind of stock in the center it really takes to get a good bend when they're wet because obviously you know different thicknesses are gonna bend differently so that's a whole nother story but we'll get to that the other thing that I wanted to mess around with was adding more weight in the front so I got a bigger bead along with a smaller bead above the blade so pretty much that just added uh, a little bit stronger of a vibration to the blade portion of the jointed one. And it didn't really add anything to the tail. I'm not sure if the way that the feathers are attached kind of kept the tail doing its own thing and prevented the blade from really having any effect on that. But more experimenting, we'll uh, find the result of that. So I'm laying this pattern down in between all of the three turned backwards feathers, I guess you'll call them. And uh, my intentions are so that just flows wavily, like a wave in between the outer portion that the three will dangle outside of the body, almost give it like a three-dimensional look as it's pulling through the water. Now I have noticed though, that you get more tail action with the straight spinners than I do with the jointeds and I have pretty much nailed it down to the reaction you get from the spinning blade depending on what size blade you use and the shape of it too they all spin differently I know you guys know that and uh, yeah the jointeds really kind of let the tail do its own thing separate from the head as opposed to the straights they really the whole bar moves with the tail and it gives a real good kicking motion. It also gives a good spinning too. You can get a good twirl. I like that. I don't mind the line twist. I've said it before, but you get a good uh, twirl around too. So if the color patterns stand out, then it really does look like uh, a fish or something hunting something else and neither of them really look like they can swim properly. <laughs> but uh, I think this lure turned out pretty prime. I did put a lot of testing into it. The second smaller layer that I added in does give a lot of flare. When it pulls through the water, it only dangles a little bit over the body. It's hard to really notice. Uh, I definitely got to get to a pool or a very clear day so that we can get a in the water test or under the water. You can see how it pulls. I definitely want to show you that. But I think all in all, it came out uh, really well. I can't complain. I haven't caught a fish with it yet, but I've only been out twice. The conditions didn't really seem proper. I don't usually go with the painted uh, blade, but I did this time. I thought I'd spice it up. 
I really like the brass the best, and then I always go silver after that. But when it comes to painted, I don't really use them too often, so I guess when it matches the lure, sometimes it just really looks nice. So I hope you have learned something from this video. Uh, the under the water test will obviously show so much more about how these feathers really give a three-dimensional look to the lure. And I'm hoping that I will make one like this for the person who wins the lure. I definitely think that this is going to be very hot. I can't wait to uh, document something being caught on this and share it with you guys in my next Fishing Quest video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. All right, we're going to head out. I hope you enjoyed this. Drop comments. You know I always like keeping in touch. Keeps me on my toes. I like to interact with y'all. Stay tuned, because the next bucktailing video will be the 100 subscriber winner. Oh, boy. Peace.